Good afternoon, and for me, it's a Saturday afternoon, and I'm just out. On a quick trip on Mediocre. I've got to go over to my daughter's tonight. She lives over at Worthing. I live in Southwick. And to get to Worthing, I've got to cross a river. And there's three crossings, really. One at Shoreham. Well, two at Shoreham, one on the coast road, one on the flyover, which is the main dual carriageway between, um, well, Shoreham and Worthing. And then up near Stenning, Bramber Stenning area, is another one. The thing is, they've, cl they've closed the dual carriageway. So the main route that everyone's likely to use is shut, completely shut, westbound, which is the direction I need to go in to get to Worthing. So it's causing absolute chaos on the local roads. So I'm just going to check out a few... Which way are you going? Oh, you are going left. Just going to... No, you're going right. Which way are you going? <laughs> So yeah, I'm just going to check out a couple of the internal little local roads and see how bad they are. And that might give me, might save me a lot of time. Plus Mediocre hasn't been out for a, a jaunt, probably for a couple of weeks now. Which is also disgusting, but the weather's been disgusting and as you probably know, if you're a regular here, I've been doing my camper van. Which is coming along quite nicely. I got so far with it, done the cupboards and the drawers and everything. And I really found out that working with all that timber and I've got some little 12 volt Bosch, um, what are they called? Wireless, cordless. Hand tools that I use. And um, I've done it all in the van and there's not, there hasn't been a level surface to work with or, or anything. And I've proved to myself, <laughs> I've really proved to myself that I'm no carpenter. I should stick to crane driving. <laughs> Not that I'm any good at that either, but I'm better at that than I am cutting timbers. But, yeah, I got so far with it, and then the missus said she wanted sort of a, a pattern on it, because it was just flat plywood. She wanted a bit of a pattern on it, and um, sort of like the shaker-style kitchen, so... So then I had cut loads of strips of timber to create the framework and the pattern to go on all the um, drawers mainly. There is a couple of doors. So yeah, that was another Gosh, how much was it? About 100 quid in timber and glues and screws and Christ knows what else. And um, took me about a day in total. Which, for the amount of cutting and, and pretending I know what I'm doing, um, it wasn't bad, to be honest, time-wise. And then I had to take it all down again, because she wants that a different colour, so we're going to... Well, we've, we've done that this morning. We've painted that, all those strips of timber in a silver colour that she wants. I'll probably insert a photo sometime now. So there you go, as you can see, it's uh, 
all those bits are done all cut by eye and um, unfortunately halfway through it B&Q ran out of the size of timber that I wanted so I was buying wider strips of timber and then cutting them down with my jigsaw to the right width <laughs> I wasn't cutting it straight <laughs> I was wanting to cut it straight but I wasn't managing to cut it straight so it's all sort of near enough it's bespoke I think is the is the word to use definitely unique so um, yeah I've been getting up to that so poor old mediocre has not been out for a run till now I say the weather's been particularly um, changeable recently anything from a little bit of sunshine I do mean a little bit of sunshine to uh, absolute downpours so uh, mediocre hides at home this is all looking rather decent I was expecting more queues through here than than is here this will be the start of it with this lot or will it? there's some gosh darn large bloody potholes I don't like that idea There's two ways of doing it from here. This is Shoreham now, so um, yeah, so that's all blocked up around there. They're getting down onto the main road. So the other way is near the Swiss Cottage pub. I mean, by the time we go, a lot of this, hopefully, they'll have gone home for their dinner. So that's a dead end down there, yeah. This is the other one. Which there probably ain't a lot in it. Being that you're queuing from here down to the roundabout. Ain't got any bikes coming down no. And going along the coast road, this because there's a roundabout down here. Childish. Because there's a roundabout down here, this traffic cuts off the coast road coming across. So yeah, this is getting a bit of flow. And there's the other traffic. Yeah, so I think that's the better route up through the Swiss cottage. Well, that's my recce done. Ah, I nearly died. Could have stopped. That would have been the polite thing to do. Can't always be polite though. Uh, 
Yeah, so these poor sausages are long here. They've been sat here for, well, minutes. I was going to say hours just to dramatise it, but it's minutes. Um, but this trip that they're doing would naturally be... See, Mr Taxi, you should come out into the right-hand turn lane and then filter in. Um, this journey would take, I don't know, five minutes. normally and it'll be taking them oh it's not that bad actually Come on, my glasses are steaming up. Yeah, the weeks previous, because it's been a few weekends they've been doing it, it's been right back, right back up here, so that's not too, too bad at all. Anyway, <laughs> there you go. That's my local traffic report. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed it. I'm going to carry on having a bit of play on Mediocre. And, um, and hopefully your weekend will be a successful one. And I'll catch you again in another little uptake.